along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro will be seen and heard in just a moment. And right now, I'm Mike Emmerich about to pose the question. You were on good teams. You were on not so good yeah. teams. Tonight, we get to see one of the not so good teams. What's it like? It's tough. I mean, it really tests your uh, love of the game. It tests your uh, passion for the game. But for me, you look at the standings, you know there are a lot of teams above you, Doc, but I always thought about let's let's try to go out there, not necessarily win the game. You, you want that, but let's win the first period. Let's see what happens after the first 20 minutes of the game and then go from there. So I think small steps is such an important approach when you're a struggling team. Seattle's got the right game plan. They might not have the best talent. They might not have the top goaltenders, but they certainly are trying to play the right way, and eventually they will work themselves off from the bottom of the standings. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. This man's the goalie again. He'll man the crease like he often does, looking to give a solid performance for the home team. This man's getting the start in net tonight. He looked more than ready in the warm-up, and that might translate to a great night in net for the visitors. As we await the opening face-off, waiting with us, Derek Stepan, U.S. Olympian and Wisconsin Badger. We have just begun with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Seattle's coming off a loss. In order to find success, they're going to need to get back to the basics. Fires snapped out of the air. Play is halted right now. Chance to hear from Ray. Ranta's play this season has been so consistent. He's got an excellent win-loss record. He doesn't give up the bad goal when it's a crippling time for a team. He makes the big save when he has to. And as a result, the penalty killing's been really good. And they have enough confidence to be aggressive offensively to put enough numbers up on the board. OK, Ray, thank you. Pass to the shooting position. And play stopped because the net is loose. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Takes that pass and looks on. Up the wing, making some headway. Seattle's in their own end and on the move. Good centering pass to the slot. Wrist shot. Score! What a great early start for the home squad. Domi's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. The butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Enzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quick. Seattle's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting the tie was huge. The draw, the tie up, and his team prevails. Loose now picked up. Pitching this one to Ponick. Terrific pad save. Up the wing, still with possession, and with whole oh, terrific love save. He takes that point pass. Through center. Gets in. What'll he do? Blocked away. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Shot on. Missed the net. Well, that was a pretty brutal shot. He missed the net by 15 feet. He's better than that. What a hit. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Lost that puck. He was knocked down to a knee. Takes a shot. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Nicely into the zone. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. A shot. Those big and another save. Mark him down for one more. Readers getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. 
quick work on the faceoff. Score! And the game is even. Vanek's wrist shot was heavy and quick. The video will reveal here that the goaltender was in excellent position. Sometimes the shot is just so perfect, it's unstoppable. Vancouver's won that faceoff and possession established. By number 26. Shut out positioning by Ekman Larson. By number 27. Gives it to the point. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. And he missed the net. You're not going to get many chances right from there. You've got to hit the net. He just misses wide. Let's it go. Score! taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. The goalie's in perfect position here, just not perfect enough. This is a really accurate shot. Just over eight minutes still showing on the clock this period. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Trying to go to Ekman Larson. One-timer. Oh, what a save that was. Great poke check. He covers and holds on. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Good clean win on the draw. Let's it go. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Lumberjacks lug that along up the wing. Oh, great cut. And in their own end, hanging on to it. Chip the Hutton. Into the end of attack. Seattle's carrying it through center. Back and forth they go between the points. The Gronlund. Pass attempt to Biega. Oh, he made him stumble. Seattle's carrying it through center. It's a good pickup. Gains the zone. Stood him right up. Loose puck regathered by Bowling. Taken away. In the first period. Inside the final minute of play. Good quick stick. And angled. They score! And they've tied the game up. And so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Assisted by number 89. One timer, gloved. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. The first period has come to an end and both teams scored twice. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise from our online store. Sutter's shot became his goal. It tied the game and we had to break.
This game is tied. We've just begun the second period. Trying the probe up the wing. Simple play. Made well. Strong defense. And in flight over the line. Let's it go. You can almost count that one, but no. What a save. Grant is looking around wondering where everybody else is, but he had to make a save on an odd man rush. Defensive zone win. Puck is thrown to Domi. Propelled to Ekman Larson. Pass cut. Might go the other way now. That puck's loose. Deflected away by Jalmerson. And now it's directed to Domi. Up the wing, he keeps on going. Sends to the point. The Horvath. And he steps across the line. Turn to shot on net. Around through the corner. Solid defensive position there. Seattle's in their own end, carrying it on. Onside. He is shut right off. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. That's a good glove save. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Well, with all my years involved in a game, I would anticipate there's going to be a little bit of payback after that big open ice hit. Vancouver's got a face-off win. Berchie's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Muscled down to one knee. Seattle setting it up as they move through center. He's got that point pass. Big drive! Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Face off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. That play went offside. Under nine minutes have elapsed here in the second. Both teams have connected twice. And the faceoff's won. Gains the zone. Terrific interception. Dogged determination there by Berchi. Shoots it off. Save! Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Have a winner off his glove. Picks it up back there. Great job of keeping that from going out. Oh, did he ever get matched? That's one way to change the momentum of a hockey game. Be physical. Takes it to the corner. Takes that pass from the other point man. Outstanding work with the glove. Good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. To the point it comes. The Lumberjacks organizing back in their own end. Up the wing, driving on. Let's it go. Puck covered, whistle blown.
Good reach there. Oh, broke it up. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. A missed opportunity from this close in. Long lead pass to back to the blue line. Out to the point with it now. Hands over to Sutter. Elevates a pass to Sutter. Shot. Score! Oh! One into another. I'm not sure if anybody's getting the upper hand here, but this has been a really physical period between two big teams. I just had the feeling, Ray, that there was going to be a goal coming, but the way that they were skating and pressuring and supporting all over the ice, you knew the puck was going to end up in the back of the net. And so this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. Just over four minutes to be played here in the second. The Lumberjacks lead by a goal. They just broke the tie moments ago. That puck's loose. Good defense. Looking to Hutton. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Huge hit. Possession's gone. Gains the blue line. Decides he wants the corner. Feeds the point. Terrific glove save. Up the wing and moving well. Players tired. That shot came from just six inches. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Got and it's in and out of the glove. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger. The Lumberjacks have a lead. It is just one, and they did it this way. We'll be right back. It is the third period, and we are underway. He gains the zone. He shot him right down. And he's tied up and held. Scrum over, puck kicked. Shoots, big point blank save there. The goalie makes himself look big. Good face-off win. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. And at an angle to Vanek. Good try there. Good job with the stick. Seattle's looking to head man up the wing. Snapping a pass to step on. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Shoots one. That one's deflected. Took it up the boards and holds. From the outside, score! And this one is tied! You want to score goals, especially off of rebounds? Go to this area. Oh, the goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Edzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves the rebound too close to the net where the goal scorer can grab it. A little over four minutes played here in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This is going to be an interesting third period. Moving it to Ponick. Pass cut. Pitching it to Daniel Sedin. Snapped it off. That hit somebody. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Slides it to the point. The net. Doesn't matter how hard you shoot it, he missed the net by a mile. You're gonna have to go chase it down. Shoots, lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Oh, 
Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Possession established. Good reach there. Passing one off now to Daniel Sedin. Let's a shot fly. Back to the point. Knocked it away with the stick. And that's directed up the wing to Daniel Sedin. And it's flown back in and players spill over the boards. Nicely into the zone. Right in front. Score! Especially in the offensive zone. If you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. Well, he can't get his pad down quick enough to make this stop. Really good shot, as you mentioned, Eddie. I think that's one he should probably stop. Seattle's gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. Solid neutralized poke check. That one is pointed to him. Glanced and off the crossbar. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? He's got that one. You couldn't diagram it better on a chalkboard. Perfect pass. If we had games like this more often, nobody would be talking about how difficult it is to score goals anymore in the National Hockey League. But as a great save, point blank. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. It's an onside play. Big drive. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Stays along the boards. Muscled off. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. That puck's loose, defended away by Gagne. Directing that one to Domi. Can't get a shot on him. Nicely received at the point. And move down to Stepan. Receives that pass from the other side. Score! And so the rookie has another gullop to put a wand in. And that is Patrick's. What a confidence builder for this first year player. Three goals in a single game. my first NHL season. They are so much fun. You feel so proud that you're able to be successful at this level. It makes you feel like you belong. And so as his team focuses on getting the game started up again, he's undoubtedly still thinking about the three goals and the first time he's ever gotten that in this game. Gets across, looks over his options. Slot shot, outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Pitching this one to Reeder. Nice tip of the pass. Trying to go to Hutton. Brings a shot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? We'll look back through the three goals. Every time he's had the puck, he's been able to find open ice, and his shots have been perfect. He has been spectacular, Ray. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? Nearing the final minute of regulation. Pass attempt to Vanek. Shoots one. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the glove. 
Hey, Doc, in this league, every team is a good team. And these guys are looking at a string of games that are really going to test them. It's going to take a total team effort to come out on the other side here with a couple of Ws. High up there and a good reach and possession. Puck is thrown to Ponick. Net empty. Score! Ponick's goal puts this one away. Everybody should head for the exits. Time to go home. The empty netter will wrap this thing up. The Lumberjacks with a win at center. The poke check worked. Great job with the neutralized interception. Let's a shot go. Got that in the trapper. The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. When you're a rookie, you just want to find a way to contribute. To put a hat trick on the board in your first season is just beyond your expectation. Good help for the centerman. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. In the slot. No completion on that pass, thanks to the stick. Let's it go! Vancouver's back in its own end, trying to work forward. And the loose puck regathered by Demers. It is a lopsided tilt. There has been some penalty activity, and here comes a little bit more. You want to see a cross check? Look at the player's hands and positioning on his stick. Vancouver's got a defensive zone win. Time of the penalty. And that's it. The game is over. The Lumberjacks sustain a decisive loss. Not much positives in this effort, Doc, but something to learn from moving forward. So ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.